Namaskar. My name is Sundashil Ghosh and what we are going to talk about today is introduction to Tinkercad and in Tinkercad uh, we will going to we are going to design a small circuit like for example we'll have a switch and we'll have an LED we'll have a power source like a small battery and we'll connect them. This is what we are going to do in a Tinkercad. What is Tinkercad? Tinkercad is a product which is a simulator product uh, designed by Autodesk and thanks to Autodesk for designing this product. So what did we use Tinkercad for? We used to create, uh, it is used to create uh, simulations for circuits. And remember that Tinkercad is only a simulator, so it may not behave in the same way in which a real circuit behaves because it's only a simulator. So anyhow, let us uh, begin with our understanding of Tinkercad and let us see how it behaves. Okay, so uh, first of all, we, we are here at the Tinkercad dashboard and I hope you can see my mouse pointer. We are here at the Tinkercad dashboard and uh, I have logged into my account. You have to create a Tinkercad account beforehand and you can use it, uh, you can use your Gmail account, your Google account to create your own Tinkercad login. Okay, so let us uh, go for creation. In uh, Tinkercad, you can create your 3D designs, you can create your coding, you can create your circuits. So we are basically interested in creating circuits, all right? So let us uh, try to do the circuit creation. We are going to create, we are here, and you can see here, we can create our 3D designs, we can create our circuits, and we can here create our code blocks here. All right, so let us go into circuits now. Okay, fine. So it is open and up. So there will be, so as soon as I open my circuit, it is an interface that we are having here on the, this is my working area on the left side, my working area. And on the right side, you can see that we have various components, various electronic components which are given there. So as I told you that we will try a very simple circuit. So let us suppose that we are trying to do the LED, okay. So we are going to say type LED now and we will bring the LED here, all right. Then let us uh, bring in a register, okay. So a register, so let us see, we'll bring the register here and okay, sometimes, sometimes our uh, Sticker cat hangs as you can see. So let us go to the register now. So we'll bring the register here now. All right, see. Okay. So now we will require what we call as a power source, right? So let us uh, bring a power source now. So let us we'll require a battery. So the small battery will require a coin cell battery. We'll do that. A coin cell battery now. Okay. Now as you can see here, there are these things are overlapping with each other. So we have remove the overlap okay now you see on the coin cell battery if i point to the one terminal this is saying positive and pointing to the other terminal is saying negative so the idea is that idea in general when we are talking about uh, connecting an led to a battery essentially the idea is that you have to have a resistance either connected to the cathode or you can connect it to the anode. The electronics guys will say, will tell you that it is better to connect the anode to the resistor. But however, because this is a simulator, we will prefer connecting the resistor to the cathode. All right. So how to connect the resistor and the cathode? It is very simple. See, resistor has two terminals, this terminal one and terminal two. It is possible to rotate the register as well as you can see you can rotate the register like this okay so fine and it is possible also to change the resistance uh, of course you can see here we can change it to 220 ohms we'll do that 220 ohms okay and we have done the 220 ohms as we can see when we changed it to 220 ohms the design of the resistance changes of course that is because of the color coding all right, so how do I connect essentially? Okay, so what we'll do is, as you can see, this is negative. Okay, 
so your cathode has to be connected through the resistor to the negative terminal of the battery so we'll do that let us see okay and we'll connect to terminal one and there you are going here as you can see here and i'm going to terminal negative terminal so there you are okay in order to make it beautiful you can do that we can beautiful make the circuit beautiful as you are connecting this to a negative terminal you can create we can say that look we will make it black in color so that the wire connecting is black in color okay so this is connecting to the cathode we are also doing that so therefore we are also going to make this black in color okay this is just for notation of course now we have to connect the anode to the positive terminal but remember we have to create something which will help me switch on and switch off okay a circuit will be complete with a switch so we'll have a switch now we'll get the switch here so now see we have got this light switch okay so we click here and we'll bring the side switch here right now a slide switch will work in this way we'll we'll have a terminal one we have a common terminal and we have a terminal two okay for this particular circuit we don't need the terminal two okay so we will use the common terminal okay and then we will take the connection from here take it here okay we'll take it here and take it here and we'll connect it to the common terminal so your common terminal is now connected to the positive terminal of the battery okay and now we are going to connect the other terminal one and we'll connect it to the anode of the LED as you can see we have connected this to the anode of the LED as because this is connected to the anode we can choose to make it red in color and we can also choose this to make it red in color so this is just basically uh, trying to make it so if I want to see the circuit of this particular thing we can go here and we can see the circuit here okay as you can see the circuit is available as you can see here this is this resistance 220 ohm and there is this battery here okay the positive terminal and the negative terminal and there is this switch and remember it is showing this as a bi-directional switch because I have taken a slide switch okay so single switch is not available single pole double throw switches are available here in this particular simulator and therefore now so what do I do I will start the simulation so uh, okay as soon as we start the simulation we can see here we can switch off and we can switch on okay we can switch off and we can switch on now so as we can see there is a particular brightness associated with this and we can change the resistance okay let us suppose for example we do 100 ohms if I do that then the brightness will increase of course as you can see the brightness has increased and let us we can keep on exploring at what resistance say for example at certain point of resistance this particular you can say if I say 10 ohms at this particular resistance if I do the simulation it will show it will show that the current which is passing through the LED is going to be more than what is tolerable so 20 milliampere is the recommended maximum but you are passing 38.9 milliampere so you have to do calculations beforehand in when you are making it in an actual circuit if I were to do this in an actual circuit the LED might get destroyed so that is what I wanted to show you in this particular video if you are here for the first time on my channel please like share and subscribe thank you very much this is our introduction first introduction to the Tinkercad